This is Kevin Zeese of popularresistance.org. I'm pleased to thank Edward Snowden for the courage he's shown in putting his life on the line so that we all now know that we are under dragnet surveillance of all our communications by the NSA. Now that we know that this is happening, we have to take action to change it. And with that action, Snowden's pointed at two paths that both make sense to me. First, we have to reset the net so that Internet service providers and individuals put up barriers to NSA surveillance, make it harder for the NSA to conduct surveillance against us. And second, we need legislative change. We need legislative change that's pretty dramatic, and we don't see it yet in Congress. The proposals we put forward are pretty inadequate. We need really strong legislative change to curtail the activity of the NSA. If that becomes impossible, we need to abolish the NSA. Uh, we cannot live in a society where we're under surveillance at all times, our internet, our telephones, our chats, our texts. We need freedom of speech. We can't have freedom of speech if we're under surveillance. Thank you, Edward Snowden, for alerting to this. Now we've got to organize and mobilize to protect our privacy.